Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 2 Blind. We're back at the Citadel, and we're just gonna sell and such, but we're also exploring this. There's some places we haven't been to yet. Ah! As the door to the brig swings open, you're at once overwhelmed by the stench of body odor and stale booze. It's enough to make your eyes water. Inside is a small guard room with a table, some lockers, and a door of steel bars in the back wall. Interesting. Jailer. Is he asleep? No, he's not. He's looking that way. Beyond the steel door is a narrow hallway with four uh, cells in the left wall. Everything is painted a depressing beige, but it's all spotlessly clean. Except for cell number two. The guy inside has made a mess of the place. Being on the floor, puking on the bottom bunk. Ugh. Throwing his dirty clothes all over the place and writing fuck you Vargas on the walls. Now he's sleeping on the bottom bunk and snoring like a chainsaw. A burly bulldog of a man with mirror shades and a whistle added to the traditional ranger uniform. Sorry about the smell. I haven't had a chance to hose off those drunk in cell number two. Uh, hose off the drunk. What can I do for you? We need to talk to Ranger Bychowski. Uh, brace yourselves. He's the drunk in cell number two. And if you think he smells bad for him out here, well, wait till you are in the room with him. Bychowski, wake up, you sack of shit. You got visited. Who's that? Who's shouting? Get the fuck out. He's all yours, brothers. Ugh. Rick. Oh, do I have to open the doors? Carefully examining the door, Alina finds a locked code panel. Huh. So, uh, who the fuck are you? I already answered everybody's question. I got drunk and I got Shanghai. That's the whole story. Got it? Go away and let me sleep. Red said we should talk to you. Huh? He did? What for? He said you knew where we could find some rat suits. Sure, I know where some rat suits are. Used to use them to go poop prospecting out in the canyon of Titan. What makes you think I'm gonna give them to you? We could get you out of here. We could pay you. What do I need money for locked up in here? Forget it. Could get you out of here? I don't wanna. Now you're talking. You get me out of here and I'll take your right to them rat suits. No bullshit. Then you just look the other way while I take a powder and we'll square. Deal? No. Then go fuck yourself unless you can get me out of here. I got nothing to say to you. Why has been he's been locked up anyway? I don't know. Well, either way... There's another door over here. Oh, it's locked. Stubborn lock. Let's see. Well, it's got an imp impossible uh, alarm. And it's probably impossible to lockpick as well. Yep. What about this? And it's also impossible to do electronically. <laughs> um, but we have to go to the doctor. If you remember, we brought him the cure for cancer. Wait, are there any other doors over here that I haven't seen? No, not really. Not really. Well, these doors, but we can't actually go into them. I'm sure they'll come into play later. So what will the cartographer... Look at that down there. Ah, you're back. Good. Echo, I heard you visited the old ranger homestead. Sad to hear it's being uh, run by miscreants now. Well, I found something. The only problem is it doesn't make any sense. There are only two places where these names exist in geographical area. And one geographical area. One is right here in Arizona, but that can't be right, because we've never heard of any of the groups of people named in the transmissions. The other is... Well, it would be Los Angeles, but... That can't be right either. Los Angeles doesn't exist. It got blown up with the rest of the world when the bombs flew. As far as we've ever been able to determine, Arizona is the only place on Earth that survives the apocalypse. Are you sure Los Angeles doesn't exist? Well, I'm not sure of anything anymore, but it seems highly unlikely. A much more likely explanation is that these are old transmissions. Talking about people and places that died long ago. Hmm. Uh-huh. Back to work. These maps aren't gonna draw themselves. Interesting. And I have to up the dose. Oh, so he's not better yet. This man must be the ranger's doctor. Okay. 
Hey, Echo. Great to see you. Uh, you. I'm feeling a hell of a lot better. Not perfect, obviously. Still in a shit ton of pain, but the tests are confirming it. That mystery juice you brought back cured my cancer. I'm gonna get to work trying to recreate it from the sample I saved. Merkaptain is like a pig and shit getting to work with me on this. Tell you what, since I owe you my life and everything, I'll let you ransack my medical supplies at a discount. Melsa won't like it, but what the fuck? I'm feeling good. So what brings you back home? Supplies are hurt. Yes, we need to be fixed up. Alright, then line up and let me have a look. D done. Anything else? We need to stock up. This cancer is in remission, but it still hurts like hell. Still gotta charge you something, though. Right, let's see how much he sells it for. Um, well, not that great. That's not really much of a discount, is it? I mean, but we do need these things. Uh, these are all trauma kits, yeah. Advanced trauma kit. Yeah, I need more of these, really. 20 to 30, 35 to 50. Maybe I should buy these as well. Uh, I think 10 will do for now. Sell all junk. I don't... Only trades in medical items. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's gonna tell me for every item that I tried to sell now. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can see the light. It's getting lighter. It's getting lighter. Oh, my God. Oh, God. There was like a 60 of them. Ugh. Okay, let's buy that and get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, that was pretty horrible. That was pretty damn horrible. I'm practically crippled with pain, and you're joking with me? What? We bought stuff. Yeah, right. And now you're overloaded. Brilliant. Let's give some stuff to other people again. It's so heavy, anyway. There we go. Yeah, okay. Finally, let's go and sell. Darren leveled up. Next time we go back to the prison, take notes. Defenses, population, morale, I need the info on my maps. I just told you. I mean, we were there. Do you, do you need info? No. Alright. Now let's go and sell. Mm -mm. Probably should also go to Vargas, see if he's got any uh, requisitions for us. Uh, equip. So, sell all junk first. There we go. That's much more like it. Excellent. Can't do anything with this, unfortunately. It's quite a lot. Nice. And, yeah, nothing else. I mean, these things are nice, but they don't do nearly as much damage as the mason cannon. I guess I could use this one. Laser pistol for, you know, instead of a normal one. Whoa! FFS Benetto, that's quite a lot of damage. 20 to 30. 14 meters range as well. That is indeed a very nice pistol. 500 though. Yeah, I'm gonna go out to that woman and buy ammo because she's got it a lot cheaper. Goodbye. And people are still overloaded. Oh, bloody hell. We need to start selling weapons and everything. Yep. Bloop. Look at that thing. Why can't they just repel down? I guess that elevator goes somewhere beneath the floor or something. Hmm. So let's talk to Vargas. If he's got anything. So you've been out to the prison, huh? Well, watch your step out there. Don't let your mouth write any checks that your fists can't cover. Echo one reporting. One, your recent progress merits a field promotion for one of your team. Excellent. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Nice. I like the fact that he actually tells you that in person. And, uh, you know, it's not over the radio. That's quite nice. Um, I'm going to wait for your skill points. And right, let's go sell. Massive doors. All right. Now. Go and sell. And I really need to sell quite aggressively. 
Oh, come back, kids. Right, okay. Sell this, sell this. Logbook page, farmer's diary, to Android's dream of electric sheep. I'm gonna keep on to that. What's this? Oh, plus one kiss ass skill. Very nice. Um, then we have a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna keep that for now. Roasted scorpions. I'm gonna sell that. And I'm gonna keep that. Okay, now. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna keep that. Doesn't he have that equipped? Hmm. It's odd. Lots of sniper ammunition he has now. Very nice. Story of John Henry. Gonna sell that. Oops. Got energy cells, so she can use them, I guess. Lots of bombs and grenades. Look at all this stuff. Man, we melee weapons suck. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Fertilizer sprayer does not appear to be junk, but I don't know. Synth part also. I'm gonna keep for now, even though I think it's just useless. Don't need both of the pickaxes. There. You can also sell a lot of stuff. Thomas, that, that. All of these. Plus 4% chance to hit. Not that great. That's nice, that's nice. And that's very nice. And the crystal, no idea what to do with it, but I'm gonna keep it just for now. Oh yeah, wait, does she have- yeah, she has more than enough ammuni- um, money, not ammunition. Look at all this stuff. Don't need this either. Rose's notebook, marbles, don't need them. And over here we've got a, another sniper rifle. Final assessment. Interesting. Not bad, actually, but... Oh, that's uh, plus one charisma. A minus one kiss ass. Plus two leadership. Very nice. Hmm. Okay. Angry managers. I think we're done. Sell. Very nice. Can we buy anything interesting here? Uh, well, obviously we're gonna need the ammunition. How much for one? Five? She had it much cheaper before. That sucks. Yeah, we're just gonna buy all that. There we go. Excellent. Goodbye. Till next time, Echo One. Right, let's see. This is plus two leadership, and this is just one luck, so this is a lot better. There we go. Leadership is now seven. That's pretty good. And somebody else had a pretty nice trinket here. And actually, Dimitri can sell this as well, these, both of the weapons. Plus one luck, plus one mechanical repair. Plus one animal whisperer. She's got the outdoorsman thing. Eh. Plus 5% chance to hit. Yeah, why not for now? Actually, she could have that trinket. There we go, she's gonna have that. And give lots of ammunition to Tobias. Lots to Angela. And some to Darren. There we go. And some to Elena as well. She's got a... She's got one of those weapons, I think. Oh yeah, we said that Dimitri can just sell his uh, extra weapons. There we go. Sell. Lovely. Nice. Finally! We've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, but still! They're overloaded. Probably because of all this stuff. And of course, she can't really carry that much anyway. Um, 38. Yeah, that uses this. She uses that as well, right? Yep. And she's got lots of ammunition as well. Holy crap. She can also sell that. 
Actually, you know what? Any spare weapons, I'm just gonna... It's herbicide as well. I'm gonna keep the pistol for now, maybe. Gonna give this to Alina. There. I think that's good. Alright. Let's go. Now, let's check where we actually need to go. Release Rick Bukowski from, or not. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Find a way to reach the Monta kill commander. Oh, that's not even on the quest. Hmm. Hmm. So now I can't actually remember what he said on the radio. He said one of the radio towers was being attacked. I assume it's the first one we visited? Which is fairly near. Nearby. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. So let's go back to that area then. And we have to try and get one of the robots alive? How the hell do we do that? So where is that? Here. Let's go. I like that little path drawn. It's very nice. It's a cache. Raiders just run. Sometimes violence is, isn't the answer. Sometimes. Dangerous raiders. Not very dangerous. We usually kill them rather easily. I don't have the time to kill them. That's right. Alright, there's the radio tower. I wish there were more other random encounters, like in, uh... Like in Fallout. Alright, let's see if this is indeed where the, uh, robots are. Would it be cool? Although I have no idea how you can get one of those things alive. I mean, you destroy it or it keeps fighting, right? Oh. I think I... No. Can't hear anything. So let's... Ooh. Let's go straight to the tower. Yeah, there they are. Okay. What the hell is that? Robot crawler. Look at that thing. Right. Come and get it. Oh, Dimitri can't actually shoot them from here? Okay. Get it. Nice. Hello. Ah, uh, you're not gonna shoot just yet, you can just reload. Um... Not bad, that was a lot of damage. You can do an ambush, ambush... Daring can try to... yeah, ambush as well. Bang! Wasn't that much damage, but alright. Hello! Ambushes abound! Nice. Well, both of the ambushes have triggered now, but only one of them has shot. Hmm. <laughs> nice. There's a lot of these robots here. Interesting why they're trying to tear these radio towers down, though. That's a lot of them. <laughs> Bring it on, robots. Bring it on. The icons are cool. I wish I could see bigger pictures of these. I really do. Because they're really well done. I like them. Uh, right. So. How about we just do this then? Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. We hit both of them. And actually destroyed that one. Very nice. Oh, I'm not really going to use the big weapon. Yeah, melee weapons suck. Actually, I should be using the blunt weapons for these, of course. Uh, let's do this. Just don't do friendly fire, please. Thank you. Oh yeah, wait. You've got the basic cannon, don't you? Oh, they've all got only three. But still, should be doing more damage. Yeah, quite nice. Very nice. Bloody hell. 33 with that weapon. 
And goodbye. No, not yet. Okay. Ha! Nicely done. Well, let's pick everything up. Ranger Team Echo, oh. this is Ranger Command. Come in. Go ahead. 10-4 Echo-1, any progress on that synth sighting up near our remote tower? 10-4 Ranger Command, not a synth, just old-fashioned robots. They were attacking the tower. Copy Echo-1. Question is, why were they attacking the tower? Maybe one of those synths is behind it, sending robots to sabotage our equipment. Stay alert for other activity of this nature. Copy? Copy. 10-4, Citadel Command out. Alright, let's see what they had. Uh, threshing chloro copper tubes. Oh, that stuff. Chloro claw. Well, anyway, we will continue next time. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.